Good morning, fourth graders. I apologize for not being able to be here today and that there isn't a sub, but you will be working today on your quiz for variables and patterns, um, investigation three. We're going to start by correcting, I know this says ACE 3.3, but it should say um, the additional practice three. So that was a worksheet or a packet. You can take a minute um, and get that out, make sure you're ready, and then press play. You can always pause if I'm going too fast or if you want to work through each thing and then go back and start the next one. I will be going over the questions for the quiz with all the things I would have said if I were here. So you should be able to complete this on your own. Um, make sure you're being respectful of, you, of the classmates around you, including the teacher that is teaching in the classroom, along with be careful that you are being honest in your, um, when you're taking your quiz. So number one for uh, the review, you had 26 sections, B was 13 sections, C was 24 sections, and D was nine sections. Number two, you had to come up with the rule. So we had perimeter is two times length plus two times width. You could also say perimeter is two times length plus width if you put length plus width in parentheses. Um, B, the area is one half base times height, one half base times base times height. S is s'mores and M is marshmallows, so number of s'mores, S equals three times M. Q is quarters, D is dollars, so four, uh, four times D equals Q, four times the number of dollars you have equals how many quarters. And number E was hard, they gave you a half a cup. So I told a few people, I'm not sure if everyone heard, that um, try to make it into one cup. So 12 would be one cup. So 12 times the number of unpopped would equal the popped. 12 times U equals P. All right, on the next page, you had to make a table from zero to four hours every half hour. So it was 44 miles an hour, so that's 22 miles every half hour. So 22, 44, 66, 88, 110, 132, 154, 176. Then a graph, you were to sketch a graph. This is an actual plotted point graph. So if you don't have that, that's okay. Just to show that you knew it started at zero and it went um, up at a steady rate of change. C, D would be 110. Technically, you should have written miles here and the T would be 1.5 hours. Does it make sense or would it make sense? Some of you were calling me out on that with the sketched graph. Yes, it would make sense because they're going at a constant rate. It is a cumulative graph. You can have half a mile and half an hour. Um, all of those things would work. On the back side, you had uh, to write an equation for the students to teacher ratio. They had number of students, S equals 21 times T. Then B, if there were 50 teachers, there would be 1,050 students. C, if there were 1,260 students, there would be 60 teachers. Number five, area equals side times side or area equals side squared because a square has equal sides. B, A would be 36 centimeters squared, and C, it would be 1.2, the square root of 1.44. You will not need to find square root on the quiz today, so don't worry if you don't know how to do that. All right, so put your review away. Make sure you have your sharp pencil and everything that you need to take the quiz. I'm going to go over the quiz questions, so make sure you listen carefully for any hints that I give. I'm gonna get my pen out so I can underline things. Number one says, Dominic and Norm decide to save their money to go on a bike tour in their state. Dominic thinks he can save $10 per week. Norm has $25 from his birthday to start with. So there's the important part, and he adds $7 each week. Make a table that will show the amount of money each boy will have over the next 10 weeks, assuming that they stick to their plans. So you're going to make a table, and you have Norm, and you have Dominic, and you're going to count up. You might want to start, oh, we'll need one more row here, so you can count the weeks. You might want to start with zero, 
that might help you see um, how the plans are different and then you're gonna go all the way to 10. Write a rule, so an equation to show how much money each boy has for any number of weeks. So I would use N, one for Dominic, one for Norm. I'm gonna go on to the next page, but if you wanna pause and do this question, that is just fine. Then you're going to use the entries in your table to make a graph. Notice that all you get is the grid. You don't have a title, you don't have labels. Label the axes and name your graph. Use a different color or symbol. So you could use a triangle for Dominic and a circle for Norm. You're going to graph the data for each boy. So there'll be two lines on your graph. D. Will the boys ever have the same amount of money at the same time? That could be higher than 10. Explain your reasoning. If the bike costs $190, when will each boy have enough money to go on the tour? So you need one answer for Norm and one answer for Dominic. You can press pause and complete this question. The last question is uh, you're given a situation and you have to make um, a table and a graph. And it has to match approximately what the story says. Everybody's will be a little bit different, but it needs to be reasonable, right? So it says, read the following story carefully, then make a table and a graph for the story. Be sure to label your axes and the table rows and name your graph and table. Right there you have one, two, three, four points that you could easily earn or easily miss. So here's the situation. Angie and her friend Jane are going to see a movie at the Civic Theater. The theater is eight blocks from Angie's house, and Jane's house is halfway between the theater and Angie's house. Angie tells Jane she will walk over to her house, and then they will walk the rest of the way together. Angie leaves at 425 for a 5 o'clock show. That tells you how long your graph needs to be, or your table, how, how long of a time. It takes her 10 minutes to walk to Jane's house. She waits five minutes for Jane, and then they walk for two blocks. Jane's dog Gizmo appears, so they go back to Jane's house and put Gizmo inside. Think about the bike trip when there was a dip in the graph, and then they went back. What happened? How did that change their total distance? They are afraid of being late, so they run to the theater to get there on time, and they arrive at 4.56 and get their popcorn and watch the show. Um, I would count by five minute increments because they give you things like 10 minutes, five minutes. So you have a table and you're gonna have um, time and distance. You'll count, I would start at zero, count by five minutes up to five o'clock. Um, or you could say this would be 4.25 then you need to make a graph. If you, um, I can't remember, I'm sorry, I can't remember if I have a graph pasted on here. If I do not, you should use graph paper. Um, please don't just draw the graph. I will leave some graph paper with your teacher as well in case you don't have any. So that is all that you need to complete today. There is no homework, but if you have any late work or things that you haven't finished, you should do that. Tomorrow, uh, Tuesday we will review the unit and then Wednesday will be the test. Good luck and I hope you have a wonderful day.